Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football from American Conference Media Days here in Newport, Rhode Island. We're joined, of course, by uh, the most senior member of the coaching uh, fraternity here at the American Conference, Ken uh, Niamatololo of uh, Navy. Uh, Coach, the thing that struck me about the uh, conference commissioner's uh, comments, in addition to plugging away at the Power Six theme, was kind of differentiating what you do at Navy and what you're able to accomplish considering the priorities of the student athletes there and it just being remarkable to me always has been being able to play at this level with all the other things going on for these young men how are you able to accomplish that well obviously it starts with the young men uh, the continuity of staff our staff's been together for many years um, you know we try to build off some of the intangibles that the Academy emphasizes teamwork hard work, dedication. Um, it, it's the young men. We recruit great kids from around the country and they come and worked hard and bought into our program and you know we've been fortunate enough to win a few games. Have you ever measured how much time commitment you put into football versus what some of your competition does and and some of those other responsibilities that you and your kids have and, and how you're able to maximize your time? A great question and it, you know, I have actually two sons that have played or one still playing at another Power 5 school. And I know that our time that we have with our guys is not even close to other people. You know, you still have your 20 hours during the season, eight during the offseason, eight hours during the season, uh, off season. But most of the time, guys spend around the football office. Most of the schools are around the football offices and we don't see our kids. So we got to make sure that we're really efficient, make sure that our time is well spent. Um, and we don't. We recognize that they got other things pulling at them, so we don't uh, overtake their time. We know we have them for a short time. Get our work done. Get it. Get it. You know, be efficient and get them out of the building. 2007, you stepped into the role. Uh, we see across the league a lot of churn, a lot of change in the coaching ranks because of the the nature of where the conference is, and a lot of guys move on. That obviously not the case with you. Uh, the stability has to be a, a huge factor in the success. No doubt. I, do. I think just us being there for a long time, myself and our staff, we know what we're looking for. We know who we're recruiting. We know the time demands. You know, we know what works for us. So, you know, we're not having to reinvent the wheel. I think that definitely helps us. So you're two weeks away from another August camp. Your thoughts about this particular edition of Navy football, what you're looking at as a focus this uh, next month. I, this is my 11th season, so I've been doing this for a while. I feel really good about this team. I just feel good about their work ethic, feel good about uh, their commitment in off season. I love our leadership of our senior captains, Sean Williams and Anthony Gargiulo. Um, I just like our focus and you know what, it, what that means, I don't know, but I, at this point I really like what I see. Thank you so much, Coach. Appreciate it.